So we've got a sketch of the curve with equation y equals fx. It goes through the origin. The only vertex of the curve is 2 minus 4. That's kind of like where it turns at the bottom. Coordinates 2 minus 4. We've got to write down the coordinates of the vertex of the equation after four separate transformations, so four separate answers. So we really need to know the impact of these transformations on the curve and how it affects the vertex. So in the first one, y equals f of x minus 3, this pushes um, our equa equation to the left. Sorry, to the right, shall I say. To the right. So it goes against the, um, the direction you might think, although it says minus. And that's because to be, um, if we want to be 2, if we want to get 2 gives us the value of minus 4, we need to put 5 in here. So 5 take 3 gives us 2, and 2 gives us minus 4, the bottom point. So the first coordinates then are 5 minus 4. I'll squeeze that in here. Now, on to the next. So the function is every value, once we put 1x in and get a y, we then need to take 5 away before we get y. So it's effectively it's going to drop the curve down by 5 um, points. So the vertex will still be at x equals 2, but it will have been dropped by 5 from minus 4. So minus 4 take 5 is minus 9. On to the third. So you need to know, um, if you know y equals f of x, you need to know that y equals minus f of x is a reflection in the x-axis. So that will effectively do this to our curve. So the vertex will now be at the top. It will still be at 2, but instead of being at minus 4, it will be at plus 4. So the answer to that then is 2, 4. And finally, perhaps the hardest one of them all, y equals two lots of, sorry, f of, two lots of x. Now, the vertex will be at minus 4, but we need to change the value that produces um, minus 4. Now, we know that f of 2, if we put 2 into the function, we get minus 4. So with f of 2x, we need our x to be 1, because f of 2 times 1 is f of 2, which will equal minus 4. So the x needs to be minus 1. So the answer here then is minus 1, minus 4.